If you cannot achieve your goals by seduction, there is always terror. Logic would say that using fear and threat is not a good way to gain cooperation or loyalty. The irony is that in a perverse way, it is. Fear immobilizes and deepens attachment. It escalates attraction and arousal. It provides addictive intensity and obsession. It keeps behavior secret. And it is very flexible and can be applied in a variety of situations at varying levels. Terror works better when coupled with seduction. Even in concentration camps, prisoners who were tortured often experienced a good cop, bad cop strategy. False confessions are more likely when there is someone who talks kindly and seems to have some compassion for the prisoner. We've already noted how acts of kindness create traumatic bonding in hostage situations. If the seduction has a powerful storyline, the terror can be excused and actually bring people together. 